Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammed Inzamam from Sai Medha Estate Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. In this video, we are going to be talking about a Tripoli branch of the Genco Assistant Engineer Job. Low extended syllabus is there. That is a mechanical subject. That is add shadam jari gini. That is thermodynamics. So thermodynamics low questions. A with anga ontai. Very most important questions. Thermodynamics is a vast subject of hundred hours. ये hundred hours ही मानो इन जेआली short and sweet as sweet as possible and very most important questions ने दिए वेते उन्टा तो that questions we are going to discuss in this very video from the chapter one that is thermodynamic processes basics thermodynamics okay so my dear students this subject is going to be a deciding factor for assistant engineer genco for triple e students endu kante triple e vallu kachithanga they will be having their own syllabus uh, they will be having their own engineering subjects power system gavachu transformers gavachu everyone knows a little bit about uh, their own engineering subjects but the students of triple e branch those who are going to be attempting this subject and scoring marks in this subject is going to be having an advantage in the e genco प्रति सबजेक्ट नीचे मार्क्स अने स्कोर बिकॉज इज न्यू सबजेक्ट गाइज दिस्यू एंटर न्यू सिलबस एंटर न्यू सबजेक्ट ऐडेड इन दिब्ली जेनको सो मै डिर् स्टूडेंट दिस् सबजेक्ट इज गोइंग बिकम द डिडिंग फैक्टर फॉर् जॉब मिनीम फाइव मार्क्स वाचना मैक्सीम टेन फिफ्टी मार्क्स वा सर मै डिर् स्टूडेंट फाइव मार्क्स आर् आलो दे इन दिशेज मार्क्स वाल मार्क वाल मन को जॉब वे अवकाश रा definitely one mark is going to be a deciding factor so this subject uh, entirely in detail we are going to discuss okay starting this is the video lecture one in the basic thermodynamics question wise okay na edaithe important questions unnayo aa question ni teesi manam em cheyali discuss anedi dinlo chesukovali observe on the board question number one before going to the question guys let me tell you online coaching and offline coaching has been started in the sai medha koti hyderabad offline coaching ki evaraithe join avtaro my dear students vallaku class lo offline coaching jarugutundi kada offline coaching tho part अगेन ओके सो मै डिर् स्टूडेंट आईन जॉन अवतारो वाल मल्ल इंको सारी मंच अवकाश आफ्ल क्लास रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो इपून क्लास लाइव रिकॉर्ड वीडियो वीडियो रिकॉर्ड सो आफ्ल क्लास की संबंधी क्लास जरूरत सो आईन जॉन का आफ्ल जॉन का As soon as possible, take the decision and join now. Scrolling on the mobile numbers key, description on the mobile numbers key. Contact J and D and take the admission today. Let's start the subject now. Thermodynamics. The first question what you are seeing over the board is regarding the type one that is equations. Okay. Actually, how many processes are there? Totally five processes are there. In that, the first process is the first process is constant volume. Constant volume. then next process is constant pressure third process is constant temperature fourth process is constant heat and the fifth process is uh, polytropic okay five processes five equations any one of the equation will be there in your examination for constant volume constant pressure constant temperature a simple logic is there pv by t pv by t this is ideal gas equation okay When he's saying constant volume, volume is constant. Then remaining is what? P by T. P one by T one equal to P two by T two. This is the answer for constant volume process. Constant pressure process. Pressure cancel. Volume V one by V two. V one by T one is equals to V two by T two. Similarly, we are having constant temperature here. Constant temperature. Temperature gone. What is the left out part? P one V one is equals to P two V two. Now adiabatic. This process is called as what? Adiabatic process. Reversible adiabatic process. Adi, uh, reversible adiabatic process. Where we need to memorize this equation. That is, volume is inversely proportional to pressure and temperature. Observe in a piston cylinder arrangement. Piston cylinder arrangement. If I compress the gas, if I compress the gas, then what happens to the gas molecules? Volume. Volume decreases. Volume decreases. Then what happens to the pressure and temperature? Pressure and temperature increases. Observe it. In a piston cylinder arrangement, I am compressing the gas. What's happening to the volume? Volume is decreasing, sir. But inside energy, we are supplying so pressure and temperature increases. 
So that's how you're going to write V1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1. Over the power 1 by 1, that means only 1. Over the power here pressure 1 by gamma and here the power is 1 by gamma minus 1. Okay. Similarly, in polytropic process, replace the gamma value with N. V1 by V2 is equal to P2 by P1 is equal to T2 by T1. Hold to the power of 1 by N, hold to the power of 1 by N minus 1. And here, we will be having only 1. So, these are the 5 equations that we need to memorize. Among these, 3 are very simple. PV by D, volume constant, volume gone. Pressure constant, pressure gone. Temperature constant, temperature gone. Remaining, you are going to keep 1 and 2 and keep the answer. Okay? One more time. Volume cancel. P1 by T1 equal to P2 by T2. Pressure gone. V1 by T1 equal to V2 by T2. Temperature constant. P1, V1 equal to P2, V2. Last two are same. In one, we are having gamma. In another one, we are having water. N. Polytropic index N. Here, adiabatic index gamma. Polytropic index N. Okay? That's why the name of the process is also adiabatic, adiabatic index. Polytropic, polytropic index. Okay? Let's see now what is the question asked. Okay? Then I'll come back and we'll recontinue this formulas. Okay? Go through it once. Pause the video and note it down so that we can attempt the question number one. Go through it. Now the question given is regarding the polytropic and is asking the relation in between pressure and temperature. What we have written in the pressure and temperature? Pressure and temperature both are directly proportional. If I write here 1, 2, here also you need to write 1, 2. If you write here 2, 1, here also you need to write the 2, 1 because directly proportional. What is the pressure over the power? What is the power over the pressure? 1 by n. What is the pressure over power over the temperature? 1 by n minus 1. Ask the question is in terms of T1 by T2. So, I will send the power to the left hand side. Then what is the equation we are going to get? T1 by T2 is equal to over the left hand side. P1 by P2 whole to the power of N minus 1 by N. So, this will be your answer. Okay. T1 by T2, P1 by P2 whole power N minus 1 by N. As simple as that. These five equations. Okay. As the time we are having very less, that's why we are unable to do, discuss in detail about the types of process. But I am trying to cover what's most important. What is he going to ask in the examination? So, equations is the first concept. Then, the second concept is, observe here. Is going to talk about names, isentropic flow. Let us discuss here about the names also. Okay. So, here we are having how many processes? Five processes. Five processes are having five different names. Constant volume process. Constant volume, another name is isochoric process. Okay. Similarly, pressure. Pressure unit is bar. One atmosphere, one bar, both are same. So, that is why its another name is isobaric process isobaric process constant temperature iso means same temperature thermal so that's why this process name is isothermal process isothermal process constant heat heat is constant instability constant entropy constant reversible adiabatic its uh, name is isentropic process Isentropic process. Reversible means frictionless. Okay. Frictionless adiabatic is called as isentropic. Another name for polytropic, polytropic is called as general law. General law of expansion. So, this is the second bit that we have discussed about that is names of the thermodynamic processes. Go through it once. First one constant volume, isochoric, constant pressure, isobaric, constant temperature, isothermal, constant heat, reversible, adiabatic, isentropic, and the last one is general law of expansion. Okay. Now let's see the question which is asked in the next bit. Isentropic is the asked question. What is the meaning of isentropic here? What is the meaning of isentropic flow? It is reversible adiabatic flow. It is a reversible adiabatic flow. Okay. As simple as that, when you know the names, directly you can keep the answer. Okay. Let's go for the next question and see what is he asking there. Ideal gas at a temperature 27, heated at constant pressure. What is the formula for the constant pressure we discussed in the previous slide? Constant pressure. In the constant pressure, pressure is gone. So, left out part is V1 by T1 equal to V2 by T2. So, what we can write here in this problem is same formula V1 by T1 is equal to V2 by T2. Formula identification is very much important and that too very simple. 
constant pressure okay till its volume becomes three times till its volume becomes three times that means initial volume v final volume becoming three times that means 3v initial temperature mentioned here 27 degrees celsius remember this point always this pv by t temperature will be uh, substituted in the kelvin scale how to convert the degree celsius into kelvin scale we need to add 273 so this value is going to become 300 kelvin ask the question is final temperature is what so what is the formula we have got here v1 by t1 equal to v2 by t2 then t2 uh, is gonna become what v2 divided by v1 by t1 okay so substitute the t2 v2 value here is 3v original value is v whole divided by temperature temperature is going to go in the numerator 300 so this vv gets cancelled 300 times 3 what is the answer 900 kelvin but the options are given in degree celsius you have added here 273 to convert degree celsius into kelvin now subtract the 273 number in order to get the answer in degree celsius so what is the answer going to become here 627 degree celsius constant pressure okay go through it once pause the video and note it down the question given is the value of n he is asking that is regarding the thermodynamic process what are the slope values okay again they have five let's write the general equations so that we can understand it very easily first one is uh, for constant volume second one is for constant pressure third one is for constant temperature fourth one is for adiabatic that is isentropic process reversible adiabatic and the last one is polytropic polytropic value n value he is asking there n values n value is that is a power law okay you can understand it much well when i draw the basic diagram here this is pressure versus volume diagram okay pressure versus volume volume is constant volume is constant that means here we are going to substitute like this graph v1 is equal to v2 v1 is equals to v2 where pressure is what uh, dropping volume is remaining constant can you tell me a vertical line slope value what is the vertical line slope slope means tan theta for a vertical line theta value is equals to 90 tan 90 is equals to infinity that means for the constant volume you are going to write here n is equals to infinity okay similarly for constant pressure process this is constant volume diagram constant pressure diagram how are we going to draw constant pressure horizontal line that means p1 is equals to p2 pressure is remaining constant p1 is equals to p2 pressure remaining constant what is the slope value zero because tan zero horizontal line what is the angle zero tan zero is zero so n value is equals to zero constant temperature n value is equals to one adiabatic n value is equals to gamma for polytropic it lies in between one and gamma okay so these are the five values among which first one is the asked question here what is he asking there n is infinitely large n is infinitely large when n value is equals to infinity it is which process constant volume what is the another name for constant volume you have discussed five names right it is first one is isochoric process constant volume second one is isobaric process third one is isothermal fourth one is isentropic and the last one is general law of expansion and the last one is a general law of a expansion so which is our asked question here n is infinitely large when is n is infinitely large that means he is asking about which process constant volume and what is the answer for the constant volume isochoric process go through it try to memorize all the five values because among these five values only one will be your genco ae asked question for sure okay go through it try to memorize pause the video and note it down let's observe the next question now given over the board the next question given is change in enthalpy of a system heat supplied at okay actually this question is regarding the enthalpy we know the formula for enthalpy h is equals to heat energy enthalpy is actually heat energy which is going to be changing with the change in temperature enthalpy increases with temperature enthalpy decreases with decrease in temperature change in enthalpy is directly proportional to change in temperature proportionality sign gone you need to put a constant that constant is called as heated constant pressure specific heated constant pressure change in temperature 
okay so here with this we can memorize that sir enthalpy is the heat energy at constant pressure similarly one more is there that's called as internal energy u is internal energy two questions standard questions internal energy is a function of temp temperature given by joule's law joule's law states that internal energy is a function of temperature very important question internal energy increases temperature increases internal energy decreases with a decrease in temperature internal energy change is proportional to change in temperature proportionality sign gone you need to put a constant that constant is constant volume specific heat constant volume specific heat here we have constant pressure specific heat when h is called as what enthalpy h is called as enthalpy so enthalpy constant pressure heat both are same ask the question is change in enthalpy that is dh of a system is the heat supplied at heat supplied at which process constant pressure if the question is given change in internal energy change in internal energy is proportional to change in temperature at dash process constant volume process will be your answer for question internal energy for enthalpy the answer will be constant pressure okay actually we will be writing like this d dash q is equals to dh for constant pressure process that is heat energy q means heat heat is equals to change in enthalpy constant pressure similarly heat heat transfer is equals to change in internal energy for constant volume okay this is more than enough formula with formula with which we can memorize the definition cp constant pressure cv constant volume specific heat at constant pressure specific heat at constant volume so what is the answer for this question enthalpy is a function of temperature enthalpy is heat energy at a constant heat energy uh, total amount of heat energy possessed by the system so in short we can say enthalpy is a form of what heat energy only so what is the answer for this question enthalpy answer is what constant pressure go through it once pause the video and note it down so that we can go for the next question okay a process in which the working substance neither receive nor heat is supplied okay now let's go in detail about the process in the first one that we are going to talk about is diabetic diabetic is what a heat transfer will take space a diabetic no heat transfer what is the meaning of a diabetic no heat transfer in that also we will be having friction less process reversible adiabatic that is called as so adiabatic is a process in which the piston is going to be moving from one position to a position to very fast very fast such a speed is there that within less time it is going to complete the process as it is moving very fast so in that second fraction of second there is no heat transfer so what we can say here heat transfer is equals to zero heat transfer is equals to zero in which process the heat transfer equals to zero diabetic diathermic diathermic wall heat will flow a diabetic heat transfer equal to zero so whenever we have the heat transfer equal to zero the name in english is given as a diabetic so what's the answer for this question a diabetic process go through it working substance neither receives neither receives nor gives out water heat energy so what's the answer a diabetic process is the correct answer for this question go through it next question the value of n is equals to 1 this question already we have seen five values of n n value equals to infinity n value equals to 0 n value equal to 1 n value equal to gamma 1 is lesser than n is lesser than gamma n value equal to infinity for which process isochoric process n value equal to 0 is for which process isobaric process n value equal to 1 is which process isothermal process n value equal to gamma is which process isentropic process and the last one one is lesser than n is lesser than gamma is for polytropic process is for which process polytropic process so here ask the question is n value equal to 1 n value equal to 1 is for what isothermal process five values we can see among this five also we are having two as an important questions so make sure you remember all the five values and all the five names constant volume constant pressure constant temperature constant heat and polytropic okay so what's the answer for this question n value equal to 1 isothermal process so this is the seventh important question from the basics of thermodynamic processes let's move on to the next question eighth the thermodynamic process in which 
the heat energy supplied is used to increase the internal energy okay heat is having two works okay actually heat is having two functions try and understand this diagram the piston cylinder arrangement to which we are supplying water heat energy heat is transferring from outside to inside in between we are having what uh, molecules molecules is having some temperature before supplying of heat energy when you supply the heat energy molecule temperature increases that is increase in temperature change in temperature change in temperature the energy utilized for increasing the temperature is called as a change in internal energy change in internal energy heat transfer is denoted with what q here heat energy is denoted with a q internal energy is denoted with what a du and due to this heat energy what's going to be happening we are going to be having here, here we are having the more pressure this pressure will be increasing and moving the piston in the backward direction with certain force so that piston is going to move back with certain displacement what is the force time displacement is called as work done in short when you supply the heat energy some 100 joules heat energy 100 joules it is utilized for increasing the temperature that is change in internal energy suppose 20 and it is doing the work it is doing the work let's say it is 80 so what the energy we supply is going to be utilized for two functions one increasing the temperature another one doing the work okay in the question is saying that thermodynamic process in which the energy supplied is used to increase internal energy that means heat energy we supply is equal to internal energy that means there is no work when there is no displacement there is no work no displacement means what volume is not changing volume is not changing means it is a constant volume process one more time what is the formula here sir heat is equals to internal energy plus work in the question is saying that heat and internal energy both are what same so indirectly is saying work is equal to zero work zero means what force into displacement equal to zero that means displacement must be equal to zero anyhow force will be there but piston should not displace when piston is not displacing main means initial volume and final volume both are same because if piston is expanding volume increases he is saying there is no displacement of the piston there is no movement that means initial volume final volume both are same so that's why this process will be regarded as which process constant volume process so where we have the constant volume process isochoric v1 is equals to v2 isochoric process go through it very simple if you can understand it guys heat energy is having how many functions two functions i have covered many concepts here first one is heat energy splitting into how many energies two energies what are they internal energy work energy second important question which energy is responsible for increasing the temperature temperature increases by which energy internal energy which energy is responsible for moving the piston there that is work energy question number three what is the uh, question number four what is the equation heat transfer equal to internal energy plus work transfer question number five when work will be equal to zero constant volume process question number six when heat transfer and internal energy both are going to become equal when work is zero so eventually again constant volume process okay so more than five to six questions we have covered in this very explanation make sure you are understanding each and every point go through it two to three times listen to this video okay as you are listening to all these concepts in the first time of your life guys make sure you go through the video two to three times if you don't understand write down the notes each and every point try to focus and again come back to the video and listen to the class one more time with which yes definitely you can understand it very easily at last what we need to do we have to understand this only 10 questions guys only 10 questions 10 questions in one video definitely before the examination of Genco many questions and many concepts you can clear very easily okay go through it once pause the video and note it down question number 9 air coming out of a punctured football okay this is a football here you are having holes so air is coming very fast so air is gonna come very fast this experiment is very simple what we need to do is just keep a hand uh, in front of your mouth and try to blow the air with o shape of your mouth okay o you'll feel some cool air is coming out okay if you don't believe you are now more, uh, uh, open the mouth wide and try to blow the air 
here what's happening hot air is coming out when area is more you are having high temperature air when area area decreases what happens when area decreases here area decreases then what velocity what happens to the velocity velocity increases when it is coming very fast it is going to be coming with a less temperature it's not having the energy to absorb the heat energy of the body so cool air is coming out hot air is coming out okay cool air and hot air so in short what we are trying to say is when a ball is going to puncture air is going to be coming with huge amount of speed outside that process is called as as it is a very fast process this process is called as which process isentropic process isentropic process in this isentropic process what's happening actually pressure is decreasing expansion is happening temperature also decreases cool air is going to come out so what is the answer for this question air is punctured uh, air coming out of the punctured football is going to be having what cool air so it becomes cooler will be your answer okay go through it last question in an isothermal process change in internal energy internal energy of the molecules is i told you about the internal energy u in the previous slide when we were discussing about the enthalpy okay this is the internal energy right here now the question appears question number 10 is based on the internal energy only it states that internal energy is a function of temperature joule's law make it as a expected question in the genko examination from the basic thermodynamics internal energy is a function of appeared in isro drdo genko ae awe sscj if any government job examination is there guys some year this question you will see in that paper that is joule's law internal energy is a function of dash answer temperature internal energy depends on dash answer temperature okay so as internal energy is depending upon temperature and temperature increases internal energy increases temperature constant internal energy is also constant remember this one word temperature constant internal energy is constant and now observe the last question what is he saying here isothermal process what is the meaning of isothermal iso means what same thermal means water here temperature same temperature means what temperature is water constant temperature is constant if temperature is constant then internal energy is also constant temperature is constant then internal energy is also what guys a constant so what is the correct answer here internal energy is also constant so my dear students this is uh, only a uh, what we can call it as a demo class this is only a starting basic class ka basic class mane 10 questions to manam oka 20 25 concepts anedi chusina already okoka question lo minimum 2 3 concepts anedi manam cover ayyadu n value infinity ante ni n value infinity n value 1 n value gamma n value 1 is lesser than n is lesser than gamma all five cases oka chinna name adugute five names we have seen okay oka chinna point adugute a point sambandhicha chuttumuttu unna anni concepts anedi i have tried my level best to cover also ఈ తక్కువ టైంలోనే ఇంత ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అని మనం గ్యాదర్ చేయగలుగుతున్నాం అంటే ఇఫ్ యూ పీపుల్ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ బి జాయినింగ్ ఇన్ ద సాయి మీద కోటి హైదరాబాద్ మార్క్ మై వర్డ్స్ గైస్ దిస్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ద డిసైడింగ్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఫర్ ఈ జెన్ కో అందరైతే ఎక్కడైతే స్కిప్ చేస్తారో క్వశ్చన్స్ ని ఖచ్చితంగా ఆ క్వశ్చన్స్ ని మనం టార్గెట్ చేయాలి వెర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఇస్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు బి కీపింగ్ గెటింగ్ ద మార్క్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ దట్ మార్క్ ఆల్సో గైస్ డెఫినెట్లీ దట్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ద డిసైడింగ్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఫర్ యువర్ గవర్నమెంట్ జాబ్ ఏఈ జెన్ కో సో మై డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఏ జన్ కో కోచింగ్ అనేది సాయి మీద కోటి హైదరాబాద్ లో ఆల్రెడీ స్టార్ట్ అయిపోయింది ఆన్లైన్ కోచింగ్ దోస్ హూ కెనాట్ కమ్ టు ద ఆఫ్లైన్ గైస్ మై డియర్ స్టూడెంట్ ఆన్లైన్ లో జాయిన్ అవ్వండి ఆఫ్లైన్ క్లాస్ చెప్పేటప్పుడు ఏదైతే రికార్డింగ్ వీడియో ఉంటది ఏదైతే లైవ్ క్లాస్ జరుగుతుంది ఆఫ్లైన్ లో కొత్తగా మై డియర్ స్టూడెంట్ దట్ క్లాస్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ఆల్రెడీ ఆల్సో గోయింగ్ టు బి అప్డేటెడ్ ఇన్ యువర్ యాప్ సో మీరు ఇంట్లో కూర్చొని ఆన్లైన్ కి ప్రిపేర్ అవుతున్నారు దాంతో పాటు ఆఫ్లైన్ లో ఏం క్లాసెస్ జరుగుతున్నాయో ఆ వీడియోస్ కూడా మీరు ఖచ్చితంగా వాచ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఆఫ్లైన్ క్లాసెస్ వాళ్ళకి ఆఫర్ ఏంటంటే ఆఫ్లైన్ లో మీరు ఇప్పుడే జాయిన్ అవుతే నెక్స్ట్ రాబోయే ఎగ్జామినేషన్ టిస్కమ్స్ కావచ్చు ట్రాన్స్కో కావచ్చు ఆ ట్రాన్స్కో లో కూడా మీకు ఆఫ్లైన్ క్లాసెస్ కి మళ్ళీ ఇంకోసారి అలౌ చేయడం జరుగుతుంది సో ఆన్లైన్ లో జాయిన్ అయిన అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఏముంది ఆఫ్లైన్ లో జాయిన్ అయిన అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఏముంది నౌ యూ నో So what are you waiting for guys scrolling lona mobile number see contact jndi as soon as possible take that admission and start your preparation for ae genco ee vidhanga manam nechukuntene bit to bit explanation manam nechukuntene definitely we can get the government job my dear student malli inko video tho malli inko sara vastanu 
until then keep watching the sai meda godi hyderabad app and as well as our youtube channel everyone subscribe just go ledo subscribe just go and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates mobile numbers ki scrolling lona mobile numbers ki contact cheyandi take the admission today thank you very much this is mohan isbam signing off